I'm Dana Hanklein here with the filmmakers of Cars 3. So how do you design these kind of new cars to fit into this world of the cars we're already familiar with? And then how do you bring those cars to life? You know, I knew that uh, the look of these, these, generally the look of these cars was going to change for this film. We wanted everything to, of course, be upgraded for 2017, right? Cars that uh, uh, you, you're familiar with on the road now, but um, as well as cars that kind of might peek into the future like Storm and really kind of push push the next generation kind of motif. I mean, it's true, we do have a lot of like fun new characters in this film. And I think what we tried to do, you know, from Cruise and Storm to Miss Fritto, Natalie Certain, um, you know, all those new characters was try and just put a bit of something that people recognize in them. So with Frida, she has those, you know, thick windshield glasses, yeah. which we took from Leah Delaria. And Natalie Certain is, you know, voiced by Kerry Washington. And so she is, you know, known for talking very fast, you know, a mile a minute. And so to try and get a little bit of Kerry Washington in the way that Natalie Certain is speaking, mm -hmm. just to make people in the audience look up and, and sort of see something that they maybe see in somebody else or they recognize in the voice talent, you know, and that kind of little attention to detail. Storm, um, Army Hammer was, he would over enunciate his lines when he read them, and so we did that with Storm. Sort of like add that little bit of something to make him a little bit more creepy as well, I think, you know, because he's a very sinister character. He doesn't move much, but his mouth moves a lot. His eyes do the talking for him a little his bit. His eyes yeah. are contrasting what his mouth is saying. So if, it's, if he's saying, like, good luck, McQueen, his eyes are just saying, I'm going to beat you. Hey, Jackson Storm, right? Great race today. Wow, thank you, Mr. McQueen. You have no idea what a pleasure it is for me to finally beat you. Ah, oh, thanks. Wait, <laughs> hang on, did you say meet or beat? I think you heard me. And even in animation, they're doing a lot of design work, like the mouth shapes. That's a really cool piece that you guys did was just reflect his character, his body shell, yeah. in his mouth shapes and in his, in his brow shapes. So that really is just about unifying his characters and making them these cohesive units. Everything kind of relates to each other. But we didn't want to just animate them exactly like McQueen. So we tried to, like, for each character, give them a little bit of uniqueness in their animation and their design. The fashions we wear basically translates into into kind of like shape, paint, and graphic for these cars. So then we try to we try to emulate their characters through that stuff as well. And like him, you know, like super min minimalist, kind of elegant but evil. Um, I mean, those, those for each of these characters, we get kind of like a you know, marching orders, like this guy, you know, he's the, you know, the queen's nemesis. So. I mean, at the end of the day, like if you just look at a still image of Storm or Cruz, you can kind of tell their personality just by looking at them, mm -hmm. from their shape, the design, and the way they pose. So we do have a lot more female characters this time around, which is very exciting. But I don't think they're overdefined. Like I don't even know if cars can have femininity. But is that something you take into you know account in the design of it? Yeah, I mean, at times in the shaping, in the shapes of these cars, um, we can infuse a little bit more softness in the shape, like. Uh, you know, Cruz, we wanted her to be both kind of American muscle car proportion, but with kind of European sports coupe elegance. You know, we can, we can push the kind of hourglass shape of the car and kind of the fullness of the shapes. Um, but we don't, we dial it, like I said before, kind of incrementally. We don't want to like stick an air hose in the shape and go, you know, and make it too full and, uh, and overt. You know, we want to just kind of sculpt these things very delicately and, and uh, because we also don't want to just, like I said, push that, oh, she's a female character, so she has to be this, you know? And Cruz was an interesting design because she kind of, she had to be between McQueen and Storm. She has to uh, stand up next to these fast next generation races um, and not look out of place next to them, but yeah. also not like look like she's you know, overshadowing McQueen because he's quite small in relation to Storm. So we had to kind of design crews in between the two. And that wasn't necessarily make her female. It was just she has to have the best of both worlds. So curves like McQueen, but like like sleek hard lines like Storm. Well, not of that like behavior wise, you know, she's also this, she's not defined by being a female car. She's just, a, she wants to, she, she loves racing. We'll go with that. Um, so, so in terms of, you know, infusing that into the character, like how, 
how do you draw from like Christella's story? How do you draw from your own experiences? How do you draw from like the world around you? Yeah, I mean, so the character of Cruz was, you know, her story directly um, was inspired by Christella. And her, you know, her experience growing up in a poor area, um, not having many opportunities, uh, but wanting to be a stand-up comic. And um, so the story artist definitely took a lot of inspiration from, from Christella herself. And the animators as well. We watched a lot of her stand-up, a lot of her TV, and we just tried to, you know, it, whether it was a bit of comic timing or a mouth shape or whatever we could pull from, like, you know, Christella herself, that was really important to try and get some of that in there.